We're falling out, we've reached disaster Don't know where we're gonna be after And we do it all again and again and again and again Again and again and again and again We're falling, falling down, we fading But I know, I know that we can save it Cause we're like Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter, I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Even if we go a lot of records down, I know we are Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter, I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Alpha and Omega Like the waves pull you down underwater We're fun until we hit the bottom And we do it all again and again and again and again Again and again and again and again Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. As you guys saw in the title today, I think this is episode six of the Organize the Clutter series. That is my series that I've started here on YouTube and it's where I organize and declutter and I just rearrange a whole new space. I've done my whole kitchen, I've done my fridge and my pantry and all the cupboards. I have done my closet downstairs, that's pretty much like my utilities closet. I've done the laundry room um, and now today I am doing our upstairs linen closet. So there is going to be a lot of cleaning motivation, a lot of decluttering and organizing motivation. There is just going to be so much in today's video. If you are new here, hello, welcome. I am Michaela Perry. I am 22 years old. I have a son named Lucas who is 18 months old and I am also engaged to my fiance, Andre. We have been together for four years and we have a dog named Milo who will be three in October. So that's just a little bit about me and my channel. I do lots of cleaning and laundry motivation. I do this series, Organize the Clutter, that I give you so much decluttering and organizing and cleaning motivation. I also decorate for seasons and holidays around my house and on my front porch. I take you along with like when we go places. Those are like my little family vlogs. I only do those sometimes. I also do food and drink recipes and some other things just along the way. Some things change. I just do a lot on my channel. So if you would like to see more of my content and more from me and more of me, um, then hit that subscribe button. I would love it if you join my community. I love making new friends and having new people join this community. You guys are all so amazing and if you join you will not regret it because I just I hope you enjoy my content and my channel and all my friends on here but let's get started I'll show you my organizing bins that I got from Ross and TJ Maxx and Home Goods. Um, they are all very inexpensive they are very reasonably priced because you guys know Ross TJ Maxx Home Goods have such great organizing bins and they are all very affordable so I will show you those some of them I did get from Target as well um, and I will show you the befores and afters of my linen closet and this video is also a collab with my friend Tammy her name her channel is life with Tammy so yeah I will hope that you enjoy her content. She is so sweet and so incredible. She will introduce herself soon, but let me hurry and show you the organizing bins and then she can introduce herself. So right here, I have two of these bins right here and I did get all gray. The ones from Target are white though, but I did want to get big, um, bulky, um, sizes of bins some of them are small some are big some are big and then these ones are really big so that's just why I did these ones were $4.99 each and these are from Ross and they look like this they are pretty big so I'm super excited to use those I did get two packs of these smaller ones right here it comes with a side um a set of three and they are also gray and these were 7.99 each and they are smaller than these ones like way smaller but they are nice these ones are from target and they were i'm not sure how much these ones were i think they were six dollars each i'm not really positive on that but they are pretty big and large and then these ones were also from 
Ross, and these were $5.99 each, and I like them a lot because they come with a lid. Um, oh, wow. This one came with two lids. I did not check that. I should have checked that. So it came with two lids, um, but two, three lids, but two bins. So, oops. But yeah, um, these ones are really nice. There's the inside, and I'm not sure where I'm going to use these, but I think they will look really good with what I'm doing. So these are just the bins that I am using. We're falling, we're falling down, we fade it. But I know, I know that we can save it. Cause we're like Alpha and Omega. Whatever happens doesn't matter, I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega. Even if we go a lot of break us down, I know we are Alpha. That it will can be rough starting a big project it's really overwhelming and you never really know where to start because starting is the hardest at least for me it is it's always very hard to start because you don't have the motivation and it's just such a big project and you don't know where to start i feel that like honestly but i know that once you get started and once you get going even though it is so chaotic like my closet here you will be able to get through it and you will be able to make it look better it does take time and it does take effort and motivation but I know that you can do it because this was really hard for me to get started but I'm so happy I did Well, hello, I'm Tammy from It's Life with Tammy. Hi, I am super, super excited to do this collaboration with my good friend, Michaela. I love, love, love her videos and super excited to do this collab with her. I would love it if you would take a minute after you're through watching Michaela's video today to hop on over to my channel and check it out for all your decluttering, organization, cleaning motivation, plus the occasional cook with me's and shot with me's, and always, always, always a touch of Tammy humor along the way. If that's what sounds interesting to you, definitely go ahead and head on over to my channel and check it out after you're done watching Michaela's video. Thanks again, guys. I hope to see you over my channel. Bye. cannot believe we kept all of these games I have not touched these games since I was a little girl and I used to play all the time with my family um, but I cannot believe we kept all them because we barely ever play them but I mean it is good sometimes to have board games around the house when you don't know any what else to do around the house so it is always nice and I always love playing board games but there were just so many I could not believe how many and all these cleaning products there were so many cleaning products I'm super happy that we have backup and we have a lot so we will never run out but that is honestly so many cleaning products and everything else was just so chaotic I could not believe how many sheets and pillowcases and comforters we had that we never used like we don't use them anymore we've grown out of them and some of them don't even fit the beds that we have now and I just cannot believe how long we have held on to all of this stuff so I'm so happy that I really took the time to take everything out and go through everything item by item and time by time and everything like that just took the time and really looked at this and was like do I need it and I didn't so I'm so happy that I really pushed myself to do this and throw things out that I do not use anymore or that I do not need in this house. I'm just super happy that we got it done and we got motivated together and we are doing this now.
doesn't matter, I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Even if we go all out and we can stand on We are Alpha and Omega Whatever happens, doesn't matter, I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Alpha and Omega I had a feeling you'd come shelves have ever been been cleaned they've probably been cleaned when we first moved in if that i don't even know but i don't think these shelves have been cleaned for over like four years it was pretty gross and pretty disgusting and there are some like spots and stains that i just can never get up like those right there they look like dried up coffee stains like from a mug but i honestly don't know what they are from but they would not come off no matter how bad and like how hard i was scrubbing they just wouldn't but i'm super happy that i still got in there and wiped it all down and wiped all that dust out of there and all that hair it really needed it just pointless without you why don't we go back to why don't we go back to never wanted to end things like we did i'm sorry I am done wiping out all of the shelves. I am going to vacuum underneath all of the shelves. Um, I don't know the last time it was vacuumed underneath here because there was just always so much stuff and crap underneath the shelf that I did want to vacuum it and just really clean the closet out, especially because I was taking all the time to organize and declutter and everything like that. It would just take a little bit longer, like three more seconds to just hurry and vacuum and wipe down all the shelves. So that is just what I did. Are too big. Can I get some comfort, please? 
I so guess now I am been. just laying out all of the bins how I want them. I really did not know if I was going to use all of them or what I was going to be putting in all of them or how I wanted them placed. So I was just going through and seeing how I liked them and what kind of order I liked them in and everything like that. Um, I did not leave it all like that because I did not really use all of the baskets. Like two little ones I did not use. So I do have two of the medium ones left over the gray medium ones um which is really awesome i'm glad that i did not use all of them because i almost bought more um you can never have too many like organizers and baskets around your house but i'm very glad that i did limit myself just to these um but yeah i was just laying it down and yes i am talking to myself just to see how i want it when i am like really in focus i do talk to myself just to see what I am thinking I guess I'm just thinking out loud um, but yes I was talking to myself so I did look a little crazy a break to my heart it's weighing me down baby I'm like a river that's over flood the sooner you know it the less do we hurt let me speak the truth I know you don't want to face it think it's too late, but I can see past the rain, won't you lay it on me, turn the page and burn it, let's make up a big bonfire, on the beach with the stars as our in the flame Throw our problems in the flame We fell down to the bottom So bottom up please We're gonna get over this I see the smoke in the mirrors I'm holding the key One step away from for the board games, they really did not look good anywhere in the closet, but I did put them on the top because we never reach for them, so I did just want them kind of hidden away and not in the eyesight view because it just wouldn't look good. I'd rather have the organizing bins right where your eyes pretty much line up. Um, so I did put like all of the board games and all the mem memory books um, on the top so they would just not be in sight <laughs> so it would look better i mean honestly just my family's looking in this closet but i still want to look good and make it look really good
shelf that I am putting like all the camping stuff into that bin those are all just like the little camping gadgets and just safety things in that bin um, so they're all hidden away and they look good but that whole shelf is for camping and picnics and safety everything like that so I did just make that whole shelf for that because there's just so much camping stuff um, in the closet so I did just give it one whole shelf and I think it looks really good but I also I didn't want it to be like the main focus so I did put it a little bit lower but I also want it to be easily accessible because there are safety things in there so like if there's a fire or if there's smoke or anything like that it's in um, reach and it's super easily accessible but I also didn't want it to be right in front of everyone's eyes because it was not pretty I did also want to share with you a real life moment the whole upstairs was a complete mess there was garbage and crap all over the place I could barely walk up there and like put my camera places that is just a true real life moment so if you have those moments you are not by yourself I have those moments as well going through all the bedding the sheets the pillowcases blankets towels rugs everything like that but also some miscellaneous things as well and I am just going through it and seeing what we will use what are sets because I wanted to match sets together so there was like a white set a gray set and a blue set and there were lots of other random like comforters and all this stuff that did not have more sets like more things to go to them so i did end up just putting those away and going to get rid of them because i don't want to hold on to lots of things that don't match and they aren't in sets i want everything to match and it to look like a set because that's what i want to hold on to and that's what i would use instead of holding on to random other things so that is just what i'm doing and then i will be putting them in bags so they are more organized and in a bag instead of all over the place Get next to me get next to me Get next to me, get next to me did put some towels in a bin um, I fold them up super tight and super tiny um, so that they could look more organized but I did know that all the towels would not fit in there so some of the out other towels will not be in a bin and they will just be out but will still look super organized and put together but I did want to put some towels I could probably fit like six towels in there and then I did also want to put the hand rags um, in a little tiny basket so they would also be organized instead of just being placed randomly in the closet. Traveling from the deep forest into the sun In war there's never an option to run
once again, I am moving things around, seeing how I like them and seeing how I want things to look like and where them to go and everything like that. So I am just moving some things around, but I did really end up this liking the setup afterwards and really liking how I put everything together and how the space looked so minimalistic. I love how everything turned out. go through all of the Halloween costumes. These Halloween costumes have been through years of time. <laughs> I like I found some from when I was like 12 years old that I would wear and there's even like some weird ones just that are so like tiny that nobody will ever be wearing ever again. So I did want to go through those and pull them out. They were my costumes, so I did have a say. I was like, okay, I want to take these out because no one's ever going to wear these and I could never fit into this ever again. So I did take out a few items, um, but most of the other items were like wigs and makeup and just like bigger items that lots of people could just throw on and accessorize with. So I did keep a lot of the Halloween stuff, most of everything except for a couple of items that were or mine. the last section is crafting stuff crafting stuff is all over this house we have crafting stuff downstairs we have crafting stuff in the living room in the basement in the office room that my mom has in the kitchen I don't know if I already said that but we have um 
crafting stuff literally everywhere my mom and i are very big diyers and crafters and we've just always kind of loved crafting and making our own things so that is just something that is always around this house but i did want to organize it a bit and put some of like the big items in the closet and then also some christmas crafting stuff in the closet so i could fill up more space use some of the bare space but also make things that we will be using um, organized and put them in the closet so they are easily accessible To finish it off, I did just fill up these last two bins with toilet paper. So there will just always be toilet paper around the house. You can never not have enough toilet paper. So I did just put it in the linen closet because that is what it's for. So that is it. But I'm very happy with how everything turned out and how it looks. It looks so good. my games all of our games and then some photo albums from like just my family when we were younger on vacation I have two things bins of toilet paper rolls and then in this one this is like Christmas crafts and regular crafts right here are just some rugs for the bathroom some towels for some bathroom hand rags um, in this one, I have multi-surface cleaner, and then these are just like all different types of like cleaners and hand sanitizers and air freezers. Um, this one has like hand soap, dish soap, and some um, like wipes. And then this is all camping and picnic. So these are camping items. This one's empty, but it, it, it can be filled with like more camping stuff. And these are like picnic outdoor blankets. And then all right here is Halloween. And same with down here. This is all Halloween costumes and just Halloween stuff. And then these are all beach towels, some blankets, some sheets, pillowcases, just for bedding. And then this is my mom's grandma's um, stuff. So this is what the closet is looking like after. It is a huge transformation, but I'm very happy with how spacious it looks and just how clean it looks. Okay friends, well that is it for today's video. I am so happy with how the closet turned out. I cannot believe the difference. Like when I first opened up that closet, there was no space anywhere. Like you honestly couldn't fit anything in there that closet because it had like no space it was so full but now there is just so much more room for growth and for putting new things in there new cleaning products new sheets and blankets and towels and games board games to play with more camping stuff more halloween costumes there is just so much more room that like honestly i could fit so much more in there but i'm very happy with all of the blank space that is in there obviously as when like as time goes by and it starts getting more filled up a lot of the bins will have to kind of squish together and merge um, right now they are all kind of spaced out because there's just so much extra space and I'm not really one for like lots of free space I like to put things in that bare space and make it look better but I'm so happy with how it turned out I think the bins look great I think that was just the perfect amount of bins I think there it's perfect with not having everything in bins but some things in bins and it's just all different 
it. I for sure will have labeled everything and I probably will um, another time. I love labeling, but it does take a long time and things change as time goes by. Um, with bins, you can just look inside them and see, oh, that's multi-surface cleaner or oh, that's hand soap and dish soap and that's hand sanitizer and towels and rags. You can see what's in those bins. So I did just leave them blank, but I think it looks so good. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It took way longer than actually it took a long time but I figured it was going to take like four to five hours um and that's how long it took but it was for sure a lot of work um I did have to take off my cardigan because I was sweating so bad in that tiny little crevice with all that junk everywhere and it's hot upstairs because heat rises and this long hair and like pajamas on yes i'm not ready today i'm wearing my pajamas and then a cardigan it was getting really hot so i did need to take that off but i love how it all turned out remember to go check out tammy's video i think she's organizing and decluttering something as well it might not be her closet i'm not really sure what she is doing in her video but if you are interested, go check out her channel and say Michaela sent you and say hello for me. Um, you will love her channel and you will love her personality. She is so cute and so fun. You will for sure love her. Thank you so much, Tammy, for collabing with me on today's video. And thank you guys for watching and supporting my channel and watching this video. I appreciate all of you. And if you are new here, hello, welcome. I appreciate you so much for joining this community and clicking on today's video. And if you did, enjoy i very much appreciate you enjoying this video and all the content and all the hard work that i put into these videos um but that is it for today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also follow my instagram our little bloom let me know your thoughts down in the comments and what you thought about the before and after i got rid of so much stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed and really got good decluttering organizing cleaning motivation everything that comes along in this series i hope you enjoyed it but i will see you all next time bye